Hello and welcome to Laker TV. I'm Noelle Blackhall. And I'm Brian Lawsey. And, and welcome, welcome to Sports, Sports Talk. Talk. Mercyhurst men's soccer stayed alive in their hunt for the regular season championship with a 3-0 win over Seton Hill this past Wednesday afternoon. The Elements couldn't keep the Lakers down as they played in the rain and the howling winds. The first half of the game was scoreless as the players were getting pushed around by the treacherous playing conditions. But in the 58th minute of the match, Tom Dirks of the Lakers was finally able to beat Seton Hill's goalkeeper to take a 1-0 lead. 16 minutes later, Dirks connected with a sprinting Van Horn to put the Lakers up 2-0. Minutes later, Van Horn was able to outrun a Seton Hill defender for his second goal of the day and the Lakers' final goal of the afternoon. Lakers goalkeeper Loughton had the fifth shutout in his nine starts this season and prevented all six shots on goal on Wednesday. The regular season championship will be played Saturday, October 31st at 3.30 p.m. The Lakers men's soccer team will travel to Millersville to battle for the first place. The winner of the match will win the regular season title and host a PSAC championship on November 6th and 8th. The loser will drop to the second seed in the tournament. Two of our very own women's lacrosse players have been named to the 2015 Sports Tour National Field Hockey Coaches Association Division II Senior Game. Seniors Andrea Goldbach and Kayla Slade were both named to the Senior Game. Goldbach is the second leading scorer for the Lakers with 10 goals so far this season. She scored three goals on 14 shots and racked up four assists. The Senior Game will be played Saturday, November 21st at Bloomsburg University at 3 p.m. The women's lacrosse will have their final game of the season as they host the Saints of Limestone Saturday, October 31st at 9 a.m. Keep up the hard work, ladies. Now for the segment when we pick our top professional games of the week. Pick, 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 pick them. All right, the first game we're going to start with this week is the Bengals at the Steelers. Now, Noel, who do you have in this game? Well, as a Pittsburgh native, I'm all about the Steelers, but I think I'm going to have to give it to the Bengals. The Bengals, eh? Well, I'm also going to have to pick the Bengals and a couple of reasons. I think Big Ben is coming back from an injury. He could be a little rusty. The Bengals like to capitalize on interceptions, return for touchdowns. And Andy Dalton, the red rifle, is on fire. And with all those, all those talented players around him, I mean, they got to win. All right, the second game, we're going to go ahead with the Cardinals at, at the Browns. Now, who you got in this game? Well, I'm guessing that this is going to be the biggest blowout that we're going to see this week. But I'm, again, going to have to go with the Cardinals, but they have to pull together that offense if they want to beat the Browns this week. No, I abs absolutely agree again. Um, the Browns, their quarterback is also coming off an injury. The Cardinals are on fire. The Browns are dead last at run defense, and Chris Johnson is just going to go crazy. He's, he's probably going to 150 yards, I'm guessing. I agree 100%. And then our last game we're going to pick, we're going to do the Broncos at the Packers. Now, who do you got in that one? This is a very tough one. Both teams are undefeated 6-0, but I'm going to have to go with the Broncos on this one, too. Whereas the Packers, they have been playing really good, but they've been picking off with these lower-level teams, such as the Steelers and the Bengals. But I'm going to have to give it to... Broncos this time. Broncos. Well, I'm going to have to flip you on this one. I'm going to have to go with the Packers this week. Now, both teams are coming off a bye, and I feel it's going to be a really strong defensive outing. It's going to be a low-scoring game, but I do think that, you know, you can't really root against Aaron Rodgers. I mean, Peyton Manning's not Peyton Manning anymore, and I just, I just don't think that he's right. going to be able to pull it out. But this is the first time that they're meeting each other in two years, and it's the first time since Peyton's gone to the Broncos, so hmm. we're going to have right. to figure it out. Well, it's going to be a great Sunday night game. You should definitely tune in for that. I'm calling that the game of the week. Now it's time for Fan Mail, where we read letters sent in from you viewers. Fan, fan Mail! Yo, 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 yo! <laughs> All right, Kevin, first letter. Thank you, Kev. So our first letter says... Sorry, it's a little technical difficulty yeah, so in reading. It's a little Give bit us going a minute. on, but uh, generally the question is asking, what do you think of the Cubs loss. I didn't watch the game, so I don't really know how to answer that one. But that being said, I can pass it off to Brian and ask him if he watched it as well. <laughs> well, all I can really say is the Cubs got destroyed by the Mets, absolutely destroyed. Uh, a lot of people are pulling for the Cubs to win the game, but they just didn't show up. Their pitching was just atrocious and Murphy for the Mets was on fire. I think he had five home runs in five games, and they just couldn't do it. So it was yeah, the Mets' time. Looks. All right, Kevin, our second question. 
Thank you, sir. All right. Talk about your top play in the NFL from last week. Well, last week. Honestly, I cannot think of a top play from last week, but I can think of a play from two weeks ago in the Cleveland Browns game when their tight end, Barnage, was crossing over the middle, going in for a touchdown. Josh McCown threw him the ball, and he caught the ball between his legs. Oh, I know you exactly see that one? what you're talking about. That was a phenomenal catch. Literally held it in between his legs, came down, grabbed the ball, and spun into the end zone for a touchdown. It was phenomenal. All right. Next question, Kevin. Thank you. What do you predict the, result, the results would be in the future? for the Mercyhurst football team. Well, this week is their last home game. They'll be playing Seton Hill, which they have a pretty high advantage of beating this week. But I don't believe that they're going to make it to the playoffs this year. But if they do win, it'll be a great last game for the home season. Other than that, they're going to be on a good road to finish off the season. Hey, as they always say, there's always next year, right? Very true. All right, it appears we are all out of questions. We really appreciate you tuning in. and. Uh, we hope to see him next week, right? That's right. I'm Noelle Blackhall. And I'm Brian Lossie. Have a great night.